Hello, hello, Regis Kilbin is the name, and Heroes of the Storm is the game, and today I'm going to be talking about my Blade Artanis build. This is an Artanis build that is all about doing damage. Artanis is a warrior by classification, but really sometimes feels more like a bruiser or almost even an assassin, given the fact that he can do quite a bit of burst damage if you build him correctly. So this build is essentially an auto attack build that is going to make Artanis very, very scary for opponents anytime he's able to close distance on them and get up in their face and hit them with a flurry of auto attacks. This build should be played in a way that's very aggressive. You can't afford to sit back and do poke. You do need to stick to your opponents to maximize damage. It's fantastic in dueling scenarios if you get caught in a one-on-one -on -one situation with an enemy hero, there's a good chance you're going to pull out the win. It's very good in moderate to longer term duels or engagements that give your shield extra value. If you're proccing your shield two or three times in a fight, uh, it's extending your health pool pretty significantly and gives you the sustain you need to outlast virtually any other hero. So it's, it's great when you catch somebody one-on-one. -on -one. It's very hard for them to deal with you if they stick to the fight. It's also good in team fight scenarios if you have somebody to support you with some heals and some supplemental damage. You can really uh, just wreak havoc by dancing around the battlefield and poking people with swords here and there. Your damage will add up pretty quickly and the enemy team won't really have a way to kill you or get you out of their hair. So this is a very aggressive high commitment engagement Artanis build that pumps out tons of damage. So without further delay, let's go ahead and break down these talents. I want to run through all of them real quickly just in case you're impatient and want to try this out. It's going to be Seasoned Marksman, Lethal Alacrity, Follow Through, Suppression Pulse, Triple Strike, Psionic Wound, and Nexus Blades. So now to take a look at each of those in a little bit more detail. At level 1, we're going to go with Seasoned Marksman. This allows you to build stacks anytime you kill enemy minions or enemy heroes. And those stacks give you additional auto attack damage. We have a lot of different things that affect how many times we attack and how much damage our attacks do, uh, the percentage buffs. So Seasoned Marksman has synergy with, with pretty much every other talent in this build and just increases your base damage output the longer you survive in games the longer games last so it's a pretty significant boost if you make it to level 20 and beyond and the other talents in this tier don't really have a lot to offer as far as team fights are concerned amateur opponent can make you pretty good at killing siege uh, buildings or minions but they don't do a lot for heroes so seasoned marksman is the clear go-to talent here at level four it's a little tougher it's it's hard to find a great talent on this tier to help you increase your damage output, but Lethal Alacrity does make your Q ability, Blade Dash, a lot better at doing poke damage and attacking from farther away without overcommitting. So you can do some pretty neat things with this. And just given that you can reach heroes who are farther away, if they're trying to escape from a duel or an engagement, many times you can get that uh, final little a final little burst of damage you need to finish off that opponent who just almost escaped. So it's really great for finishing off kills, securing kills, and you can do really cool stuff with it like uh, reach really, really far behind a gate. So you can see you can almost, well in fact you can hit the enemy fort here uh, through the gate. So that allows you to do a lot of damage to people who aren't otherwise expecting it. You can even do cool stuff like uh, going through a bush and hitting somebody who's doing that or just scouting out the area. That extra distance affords you quite a bit of flexibility. At level 7 we're gonna go with follow through. After using an ability your next basic attack within 6 seconds deals 40% additional damage. If we go check out the target dummy down here we'll see that standard attacks are hitting for 293 with our build currently. Anytime we use a dash it hits for 390, so we added almost 100 damage there uh, just from casting an ability. And the great thing is, is that your Q and your E are not necessarily just rotational abilities that you're using while locked onto an enemy. 
but your W is, and it has a very short cooldown, meaning you get those follow-through attack bonuses very, very often, and really adds up quickly. So that's really nice. Follow-through is going to be pretty key to increasing your damage output. At level 10, uh, we're actually going to go with Suppression Pulse here. This fires an area pulse from the Spear of a Dune, dealing 250 damage in this giant circle, and it also blinds enemies for 4 seconds. Now, it is not technically the highest damage heroic. That would be Purifier Beam. It's all about doing more damage. But Suppression Pulse still does damage and frankly has too much utility to pass up. And it's the better team fight ultimate. And this is a bruiser, high damage Artanis that excels in team fights and gives you some extra survivability to do that damage even longer. So Suppression Pulse is just too good to give up here. Level 13. This is where the build gets really scary for the enemy team. Artanis becomes a total nightmare, and that's Triple Strike. Increases Twin Blades' number of basic attacks to three, so usually our W only has two extra attacks, but if you watch very carefully here, you'll see that we hit for three straight hits there. It was 390, and then two 293s, so if you time this well immediately after an auto attack, you can hit for uh, 300 times three and another almost 400 is about 1250 damage 1250 damage almost instantly within a second for sure so a 1250 damage burst every four seconds makes that scarier than thrall's wind fury by a lot so you can see why artanis is very lethal if he sticks to an enemy for more than more than four seconds. If he can get off two of those rotations, he's shredding through a large percentage of almost anyone's health pool. At level 16, we're going to take Psionic Wound. Twin Blades' final strike causes enemy heroes to become vulnerable for two seconds, increasing all damage taken by 25%. I'd like to see this one on Arthas to give you an example of what the vulnerability looks like. Now that's a two second duration and it basically goes off every four seconds. So it's a 50% uptime on vulnerability. And you'll notice we got two basic attacks off while he was vulnerable for that extra damage. So it's not just you, it's also the whole, your entire team that gets to benefit from that. So you can see us hitting Arthas there for just huge chunks of health thanks to Psionic Wound and our other boss door W and our auto attacks. That's a really fun talent for isolating one person with your E, getting the W vulnerability on them, and allowing your team and yourself to just completely shred them. And then finally, at level 20, to seal the deal with even more auto attack damage, we have Nexus Blades. Basic attacks deal 20% more damage and slow the target for one second, so that's already been calculated in since we had all our talents picked up. But a 20% uh, damage boost is nothing to overlook. It's, in fact incredibly substantial and the slow as well is very good for when you're trying to lock down opponents who are trying to flee in the late game it allows you to keep up and keep pumping those crazy auto attack rotations with your twin blades like that into the person who's almost about to escape so there you have it this is the blade artanis build it shouldn't be a secret why it's called blades it's all about your twin blades ability there are literal blades coming out of Artanis' hands, and you will be shredding and knifing and dicing and slicing through enemy heroes in no time. This is a crazy fun character and build to play. People are never ready for a warrior doing that much damage, so it's a lot of fun to just totally destroy the enemy team. I'm going to run through the talents one more time. Seasoned Marksman, Lethal Alacrity, Follow Through, Suppression Pulse, Triple Strike, Psionic Wound, and finally... Nexus Blades. I hope you have fun playing the Blade Artanis. It's actually impossible not to have fun playing this character and build. So get out there in quick match and on the ranked ladder and bruise some people and blade some people. And until next time, game on.